Okay, Dean Hansen here. What I'm about to show you in Logic 8 Express is something that I wish to God somebody would have posted like a week ago that I could have watched so I didn't have to figure this out the hard way. So that's why I'm posting it. I am not a pro in Logic. I am very new to Logic, but I'm not new to audio. I'm not new to audio software. First thing is first. When I first got into Logic, I realized I had some kind of cool instruments or whatever. But I didn't feel like I had any control over them because I couldn't put a reverb on the snare drum in the EXS24. I couldn't, I didn't have anything on its own track. And so what I wanted to figure out how to do was I wanted to be able to split up all my instruments. I know it's one instrument, the EXS24, but I wanted to be able to split up every key, kick, snare, tom, everything onto its own track. And I thought that, you know, everybody should want to know should be want to do that so I was like oh it's pretty common so I searched forever I found finally f took a bunch of different videos and put them together so I was finally able to do what I wanted to do but what I'm gonna show you is just what I wish somebody would have showed me about a week ago so here we are in logic say we open up a acoustic drum set rock kit it opens up as an EXS24 right here so if you look down right here it's an EXS24. The key is to go to, come on now, EXS24 multi output. And then you need to click edit. So now it brings this up. This was confusing to me at the very beginning, but I've figured it out for the most part. Like I said, I'm not a pro in this, but you have zones and groups. Your zones, now here's your keyboard. So you got kick snare you know but everything's all coming out the same one and two you didn't have any control over it and then I realized it has a million files each one of these blocks here hopefully you can see my mouse my cursor each one of these blocks here is a different audio file all playing at once to make this single snare hit same with this one so all these are different little audio files to make up that single hit so this has these three audio files. This has these four audio files. And I was like, man, how am I going to send one kick to its own track if it's got 17 different audio files to it? Well, that's what the groups are for. If you click on right here, bass drum 02, you see that all these are in one group. So it's really all just the kick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send that group to a single auxiliary channel on my mixing board, on the mixer. So I go to Window, open up Mixer, comes up over here. Oh, you son of a bitch. Gotta close this. Okay, here's my mixer. So I can click on this little plus sign. Let's create an auxiliary channel. It's going to be mono because it's a kick drum. So I create it. Now it comes up here. And what I'm going to do is I want my input to be instrument 1, which is the EXS24, channel 11. Okay? Obviously, you can make it whatever channel you want. You just need to send the kick group to channel 11. So now I have channel 11. So I'll come back over here, edit click on this and I realize that it highlights all these all the files that have to do with the kick the lower kick and the higher kick and it's this whole group that I've done here and you'll notice it has all these options for volume and everything well what we have is routing by far the most important thing you click on the routing and instead of going out the mains you send it to 11 so now, instead of it routing out the main, all of the files that have to do with this group, which just happen to be everything that has to do with the kick, go out there. And now we don't hear them. Because they're going out 11, which just happens to be muted over here. So I come over here and I realize right here, if you look really close, that this threw me off for a while too, that auxiliary 1 is 11 but they automatically mute themselves 
So if you click option and click on it, it goes back to zero. Okay, am I making sense? I sure hope so. So now when I come back over here and hit the kick, now look, it's going out auxiliary one instead of instrument one. So everything else is going out instrument one. Well, you can see it comes out instrument one and main. Main one and two is everything that you hear. So everything's coming out instrument one, except for the kick comes out aux one. So what I've done is I've effectively separated the kick, all these files that have to do with the kick, and sent them to aux one. And now I have inserts so I can put a different compression ratio on my kick, I can put a different limiter on my kick, I can put a different EQ on my kick, I can put a different reverb on my kick, I can put have finally have control over my kick and if I want to bring the kick down I've got the volume here I don't have to go into here into routing and change the volume I can just mix it right here very natural and then we could go to add and let's do another mono and then what I'm going to do for the second aux instead of sending it to obviously out 11 we'll send it out 12 and so now instead of 11 we got 12 coming out here we can come over here and we notice we have snare sounds we got this snare, we got this snare we got a different snare over here you know a lot of snares and not only that but there's a lot of different little audio files that have to deal with the snare literally probably 40 and when you go down the whole board and I can't be sending 40 separate tracks all to this aux one or this aux two no I could but that would take a lifetime so again we go over here and we click and all of a sudden look that's for symbols isn't it snare SDO2 it's a group it has this snare and this snare all the files that have to make that snare sound in this group and I can send these other snare groups to it as well and so what I'm gonna do is go down to group snare group routing instead of out the mains we're gonna go out 12 and again it mutes itself so option click and now my snare sounds instead of going out instrument here my kick's gonna go out its own little track its own little channel aux auxiliary channel and my snare is gonna go out its own channel so let's watch kick 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 Keep an eye on the uh, mixer board. Kick, kick, kick. Snare, snare, snare. And then everything else is still at the instrument. And then this EXS24 just happens to mix things pretty decently. It pans things pretty good. So what I do is I send all like the toms or overheads, all the cymbals and everything, I send them to one single channel so like all overheads not overheads and toms but overheads to a single stereo channel instead of doing two mono channels and, and panning everything where I want it to go it's already panned pretty good that I the way I like it at least and you can obviously do it however you want but I send like I'll do an overhead one and I'll make it a stereo channel create and now I'll put these in instrument 9 and 10. The reason I'm going all the way down to 9 and 10 is because I always think of my overheads as my last tracks, as my last thing. So now we got 9 and 10 here. So I'm going to send every group I want to send to 9 and 10. Once again, my name is Dean Hansen. That's all I have to say about that.